Hey guys, Scott here, Pine Barren Craftsman. I, um, uh, you know, playing some guitar earlier, taking care of my son, doing some vacuuming, and, um, you know, just kind of kicking around ideas of like, what's what's a good video to talk about? And another thing that, you know, because really all this I'm trying to do is help people. It's really kind of a feeling I've had for quite a few years now. I want to help people somehow in a small way and 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 not not just in the physical manner, like, oh, I'm going to go out and help somebody carry some wood or I feel like I have some some insights and maybe a different outlook on things. And um, some people call it quirky, but um quirky. Uh, I, I feel like this is helping me again. And, you know, I appreciate you guys watching. So the topic of this video is um, the art of the conversation, uh, you know, from my angle, from my opinion, only from my experience. Um, uh, you know, when you meet a stranger on the street, things are difficult. You know, that, that's one thing to break the ice with having no reason to talk to somebody. And later in life, I find myself doing it more and more. And it might be one of those things that annoys people in society. Some people just don't want to be bothered. And I get it. You know, I don't go out of my way to bother people if they're in a bad mood. But if I'm standing on a line and we're waiting all for the, for the grocery line or, or maybe I went to the farm, the farm and uh, they got bags of vegetables that we all pay. It's like, you know, a small farm. And like, you know, we're all here, but it looks like we're all looking to like just get the bag and don't look at me and make sure I get the right tomato and the right onion. I break the ice with people. Hey, how's it going? The guy's wearing a knee brace. Hey, man. Does that, how's that feel? He goes, it hurts. <laughs> I was like, oh, it looks like it hurts, man. You know, I, and I tell him, I always get worried carrying firewood. I'm going to twist my knee. And he looks at me. He goes, that's exactly how I hurt my knee. And we're laughing. And right there, that's like 10 minutes that I spent with somebody, human being, that I made an impression on them. I'm going to see him again, especially in small towns and stuff. But, um, you know, it just feels like it made it more habitable, more more real, you know. And that brings me to, I guess, the, the golden rule. Number one, treat people how you want to be treated. Well, in a conversation, if you're nervous, first things first, don't think. Because thinking, at least for me, gets in the way. You get nervous, you start thinking, what am I going to say? How, I got to break the ice. I got to, like, a staged joke or or a planned ha-ha, it doesn't fall on it doesn't help. I mean, like comedians are good at it. I mean, I'm just talking in general. If you're trying to be a public speaker and you're going to make a joke at, at, at like the third paragraph, second line, you know, and wait for the clap. It's almost like your presidential guy, you know, robot. Um, you know, know, know who you're talking to. Get an idea, not from stereotypical, but just from history, like type of environments where you're at. Like, don't go walking up to talk to people if they got, you know, something on their mind, like they're rushing to do something, you know, that you're bothering them. But like you walk into a lady's house, an old lady, let's say an older lady, elderly lady, senior, and you're asking her, you know, as a, as a contractor, you're knocking the door, you ask, hello, uh, can I come in? You know, be respectful. Hands like this, like, nice to meet you, you know, delicate, you know, hand, you know, not, uh, you know, that scares people, you know, uh, hey, I, uh, they're nervous, right? Who's this guy coming in my house? My husband's not home. He just ran out. This kid wants to come in and rip my tile floor up. Hello, ma'am. My name is Scott. I'm here. I'm going to do some work in your bathroom. If that's all right. Uh, we're going to put drop cloths down. I'm going to park my truck. Is it, where can I put my truck? Uh, am I in your way? Oh, no. Can, can I pin this door open? You know, do you have any animals and cats that got to worry about? Start off the conversation thinking about the other person. And where they're coming from. Instead of me, 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 me. And I got to get this done. You know, I got to get moving. Uh, lunch is, is at 12 o'clock. And I, I'm here at 11. I want to get set up and go for lunch. And, you know, it's, it's sorry. You know, you got to you gotta care about other people. Especially when you're trying, if you care about having a nice public representation or, or, or public speaking um, it, it follows through with going out on a date, you know, going with, with a new girl or, or a girl you've been dating. Just be respectful. We already talked about that. But also, you know, when you're walking in to uh, an environment where maybe not everybody's so cordial, kind of get the feeling that, okay, maybe I'm not welcome here or maybe I'm not, uh, you know, maybe, maybe their guards are up about me. What's the best thing to do? 
Lay your guard down. Who cares? What are they going to do? They're going to beat you up? They're going to scream at you? Maybe. <laughs> but let your guard down so it makes everybody else in the room relax, especially with like a car purchase. This is funny. Like you walk into somebody's house. They got a car for sale and, and you're coming over invited. You called and you're on your way over to look at the car. Not even the guy that, that's walking up from the house because he saw the car on the street with the sign in the window and now he's knocking, you know, coming in cold. But hey, my name is Scott. I'm going to come. I'm going to look at the car. Come on. Hello. Shake your hand. I'm interested in the car. Yeah. You know, it's a big project. Yeah, I do know it's a big project, sir. I appreciate it. But thank you. I want to look at it. You know, OK, come over here. Let them know that you don't have any ulterior motives. And they like to, sometimes these guys like to zing you, like, well, I ain't going down in price. Oh, well, I'm not here to haggle with you. I'm here to give you your price if it's worth that to me. If not, I'm just going to leave. You know, this, I'm not here to, this isn't a TV show. Uh, let's see how many we could get off the, the, the price. Um, I, I guess in a corporate sense, too, like, you know, you're going to walk into a situation again. Uh, we talked about it with the interview process, but also like just walking with people to the water cooler. Like, what's their deal? You know, think about the other person. That's the that's the flavor of this conversation here is my life. I've always been more of a doormat for people. Yes, I'll do it. No problem, because I'm I, fe I feel like I would want to be treated that way. And I end up treating people very nice. I end up being a doormat, but I also end up holding it in as I'm being a doormat and getting, you know, wiped on my face. I say to myself, all right, I'm going to get angry. You know, I'm getting a little upset. And that's where it's gone wrong for me. So don't don't be a doormat, uh, but be understanding of where people are coming from. So this is where it comes in with like meeting friends, teaching my son how to make friends. You know, you teach your kid all his all his thoughts and feelings and how you want him to be a little miniature version of ourselves. And I, I learned this very quickly. He's going to be his own kid person no matter what I do. He's completely different from me. But I try to instill the basic rules. But watch him. You know, Daddy, how do I go and break the ice with these kids? If they're there and we're at the party and we show up, whatever they're doing, get involved with what they're doing. Ask them what it's about. And if they brush you off because they're shy, eh, I'm just playing, don't leave me alone. All right. Well, just hang out. Be cool with it. Don't get upset. Uh, human beings have a way of reading each other. And I get this a lot. I think people read me as being like, okay, guy to talk to. And and I think that I am because I am an okay. I, I'm not going to yell at them. I'm not going to get political with them. I'm not going to point fingers. And, and, and I'm not going to try to swear in front of people. You know, I try not to use profanity, you know, and get too vulgar. But I do have humor that I like to get out. And sometimes it's hard to get that out because you don't want to offend, offend anybody in this society. This all comes from COVID too. Like, we got more serious. I found myself being more serious with COVID. And, you know, don't talk about this. Don't talk about that. And, oh, don't. This topic might be a, a red flag for this group. And we might not. And it's funny because you see it in society. As you get into like an hour or two hours hanging out with different groups, you start to realize, okay, this is okay to talk about. And that's okay. Okay, we're all the same with this. And we're not going to like that. Well, don't touch this. Or this person doesn't, doesn't dabble in that. So stay by the end of the day, we're all, nice to see you. <laughs> Don't say nice. <laughs> I've met some really great people up here and I was able to be myself very quickly, but I can see even with family around the dinner table on holidays, people are, just try to think about your, your parents, you know, different generation. And we're coming through with like information, so fast, you know, it used to be one, one, uh, conspiracy theory or, or one, you know, this is going to be like the, the news of the year, you know, and now it's like every week and God forbid you miss on one topic with somebody. Nah, I can't talk to him anymore. You know, he don't agree with me. What? There's 99% of the things we can talk about, but that 1% it's over. Done. Happened in Seinfeld, the movie TV show Seinfeld where Elaine didn't have a political view with her boyfriend and Jerry asked to, Elaine, ask your boyfriend, your new boyfriend, what he thinks about this. And they didn't agree, and it ruined the relationship. And that was like the whole episode. It's kind of like today, man. I don't want to envy people that are dating right now. You know, it's got to be hard. Eventually, you're going to find something that you don't like about this person. And it's, it's such a critical, it's like critical, mission critical. This has got to be the same opinion. Anyway, I could talk all day about that. As a child, I'm teaching, be open. 
Be aware of a person's feelings. Try to understand where they're coming from first before you start telling people what you think. And these are advices that are try I'm trying to help people that might have a problem breaking the ice, you know, publicly um, in a group, you know. I love standing in line with people and just like, we're all from different walks of life, but we're all here to get this same thing, you know. We all like this donut from this donut shop or, or we're all going to uh, the same train ride and we're all going to be stuck on a train together going to look at the countryside and you try to break the ice with people and then, and, and some people will throw them curl i don't like this guy are you like oh you're one of them yeah i'm one of them whatever that is i'm opposite from you because you're i'm not one of you because you're mean <laughs> whoever well uh be humble right be kind even if you're having a bad day try to reset Reset your mind. It's a new day. You know, the lady working at the uh, Quickie Mart, she's behind the counter, the guy making your sandwich, Subway or wherever. Talk to him about his life. And before you know it, it'll come so easy. You'll be talking to everybody. And then before you know it, you'll be like, hey, man, we're like old friends. And you're meeting people that are brand new and you treat them like you're an old friend. And maybe they talk about you behind your back. And maybe, you know, who cares? If you're confident, and you know who you are. Oh my God, that's the power. So figure out who you are, man, or woman, child. Figure out what, you, what you're about. And then you, you can't get hurt. Right now what I'm doing, I'm putting myself out there and there, there's been no negative comments, but I'm sure there people are thinking negative things about me, about how I'm dressed or what I'm doing with my hats or how silly I look and stuff. That's okay. I'm being me. Imagine, imagine I'm trying to put up an act and they crush it. Sure, my acting was horrible, but you can't fake being yourself. It's not a lie you have to worry about keeping up. So this is me. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe. If you want to know more about this picture in the background, I think it's beautiful. I don't know where it is, if it's what it's from, but it's very nice. I sit here in front of this so you can see it. And uh, if you want me to move around different parts of the house, I'll do videos in different spots. Maybe outside in the wind, it's negative 20 degrees. Have a nice day.